All right, Channel 3 Early Warning Radar, scanning the state dry. Good morning, everybody. It's time to rise and shine. Hey, we've got some stats for you. I know, Eric, you love the stats. So it's time to play along. Look at this. 35 is the normal high on the 1st of January. 35 is the normal high on the last day of January. Well, that's not anything to look forward that's to. That's some nothing to look forward to. And look, it gets a little colder, 19 to 18. Oh. Average snowfall, 12 inches. Yeah. yeah, so that's not so good. All right, now the extremes, though. So oh. that's, yeah, that's now good. Now we're talking. Now we're talking 72 degrees. Back in 2007, that was the record high for the month of January since we've been keeping records back in 1905. But it can also get as cold as 26 degrees below zero. That's horrible. Oh, Isn't that 26 horrible? Degrees. 26 degrees below zero. On, uh, that was on uh, January 22nd, 1961. Snowfall, 54 inches in 2011. Remember that? I suddenly yeah. want to go back and rewatch Eva's story. Try to build one. <laughs> 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 All right, colder to start this morning. It is a colder start out there. Partly sunny and chilly during the day today. And then a little light precipitation is expected around midnight tonight. So we might pick up a coating to an inch of snow in parts of the state by very early tomorrow morning. I'll show you that in just a couple of seconds. In the meantime, feast your eyes on some temperatures out there in the mid to upper 20s. This is a, uh, a little bit above average. 18, as I just showed you, is the typical overnight low. 24, 29, 30, 30 in New Haven, 30 in Meriden. And we do have a little bit of a sustained breeze out there anywhere from seven to nine miles an hour. So it's not as windy as it was yesterday, but there still is a little bit of a breeze out there, which does make it feel a little bit colder. 14, 15, 17 at Bradley. So you get the point, you need your winter coat out there this morning. ICAMS across Connecticut, you can just start to see a little bit of that sun coming up with partly sunny skies out there. Uh, Hartford, our beautiful skyline looks amazing. And Middletown, look at this beautiful skyline in Middletown. The sun is up at about 719 this morning. So we've got another hour to go, but it's looking like a pretty good start. There's a lot of clouds to the south of Connecticut. Some of those clouds are gonna try and sneak into our region. And then what's gonna happen is a little disturbance from Virginia down through North Carolina, that is going to be uh, making its way uh, a little formation here. And then we've got a little bit of a disturbance coming in from the west. So those two systems combined create a very little bit of uh, a, a little bit of very light snow for late tonight through very early tomorrow morning. Let's track it for you with futurecast tomorrow's weather today. Increasing clouds. Now this is midnight tonight. It's a little snow in parts of Litchfield County. Let's watch as it moves across the state, northern Connecticut. This is a coating to an inch of snow in parts of northern Connecticut. Should be plain rain for the shoreline, but it's just enough to snarl up the morning commute. It's gone by about 5 a.m., 6 a.m., but the damage will be done. There could be some slick spots on the roads tomorrow morning. So we're calling for a dusting to an inch. Please be careful tomorrow morning. Um, we'll be here to get you through it. And then your uh, daytime highs today climb into the low to mid 30s. Your seven day forecast includes again that little light precip late tonight, just enough to get those roads coated up for very early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow turns out to be a nice day after that morning precip. Friday looks good. Saturday is super wet with an inch of rain on the way for Saturday. Unfortunately, it's wet, not white. Those ski resorts are watching Evers Amaris' story this morning, trying to look <laughs> optimistic. <laughs> Sunday, we're talking about windy weather, but at least it's going to be mild, and it does get colder Monday and Tuesday. There could be some mixed precipitation around on Tuesday. But in the meantime, get out there and enjoy today.